Who's on the cloud today? <laughs> Here she is. It's Dame. It's Dame Dawn in uh, her, her Dolly Neptune, guys. Thank you. <coughs> can I have me tremble, Emma? <laughs> you can. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on, off, off you go. Oh, you muppet. Oh, 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 you muppet. Oh, 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 oh. Do you feel, you feel frizzy? Oh, if it it's right over. Right, go on then. Off you go. Up there, please, Dolly Neptune, uh, to carry on your nefarious uh, means. Uh, from a distance. Anyway, enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. Um, right. Bag seven. I think we might do bag eight today as well, but we'll see how we get on. Off we go. with a Twitter rise today. Uh, let's see who's up first. Little Sue. And she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Yes, hello. Hello, dear. I tell you what, Emma, it's exciting, isn't it? That I'm up first today because it's not often I'm up first, is it, Emma? No, it's it's not. It doesn't happen often. No. Well, it's 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 only gone and happened today, hasn't it, Emma? Yes, it it only has gone and happened today. Uh, yes, you you must be thrilled. I. I I I I feel dangerously giddy, Emma. Oh no, that's, I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, w would you like to do the sticker before we commence uh, today's business? Oh yes, thank you. That's very kind of you. Yes, we we have a sticker. Um. Uh, sticker number 11. How kind of you to notice, little Sue. No, I mean, I mean, I know that you have to the, do chats and accents and songs and all of the business uh, while building, but it, not even a monster would make you do it while putting on a sticker, Emma. Um, I, I think that is the consensus, that that was quite well put on. Well done. Give, give yourself a round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you, little Sue. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're, too, you're too kind. No, 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 no. P please. It's fine. Anyway, uh, down to, to business. Business? Business? Yes. Down to business. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to quote you, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, you said uh, they know how to get into the Lego Lego shed. You were talking, of course, about Sue Perkins and the Endame Dawn. Yes, but I, I, I clarified that by saying actually only Sue Perkins knew how to get into the Lego shed because she has actually been here. Uh, Dame Dawn has not been here, uh, and that should be clarified. Yes, that, that should be clarified, yes, 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 I see. Well, anyway, Emma, it got me wondering because I wondered if there is some sort of special code uh, to get into the Lego shed, or perhaps flu powder, like in uh, the, le the leaky cauldron. Do, do you know the leaky cauldron? Do you know what it is, Emma? Yes, uh, yes, I do know what it is. Yes, it's it's something to do with Harry Potter, isn't it? Yes, it has something to do with Harry Potter. And maybe there's a special shoot. Am I, am I, I said special shoot. Please, please, boing. <laughs> Good grief. That you have to go down from your bedroom like in Jamie and the Ma Magic Torch. And I just wondered if you have a special shoot you wanted to tell us about. No. 
Where's the button? Um, do you know what? I, I kind of think that all chatter special shoots, I, I said special shoots, um, should probably stop right there. Eric, he's got a fog called Fazio. A fog called Fazio. Yes, a fog called Fazio. The looking red I mean, start again. For, for goodness sake. Eric. He's got a duck of Fazio. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Fa fa fa. Etc. It says, yeah, it's not your fault with the foot with the foosball table. It's the way Lego designed it, I've killed her. The designer should lose some house points for that. I've deducted three points, uh, Eric, simply for that. Simply for the foosball. Um, it's unacceptable. No, oh look, I've put this in the wrong place. Stop. Stop everything. Thank you. It's there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hang, hang on, I'm tethering. I'm tethering here. Right, okay, carry on, please. Carry on. Uh, Stan's mum, mother of God, promise us you will not touch that football table ever again, ever. Much thanks. Uh, yes, 100%. 100, I'm, never t I'm never touching it again. I, d I don't care who complains about it from here on in. I am not touching it again. Ever. Uh, uh, I, I, I thought that it was going to get thrown down the other end of the Lego shed for a moment because, to be, to be, to be perfectly honest, um, oh, I, I think it probably deserved it, don't you think, this? Yes, uh, yes, I, I, I am also amazed that I didn't throw it across the Lego shed. Yes, because it, 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 it certainly was, it, it, it was a terrible thing, wasn't it, um, when the, every time you picked it up it just crumbled into dust, didn't it? Well, not quite dust. Yes, but it crumbled. Yes, it, it crumbled, yes. Yeah, okay, press the button. <coughs> uh, Stan's mum says, I was watching on proper TV for a change as I was home alone for the first time in 14 months and the whole thing was quite alarming in 50 inches. I said inches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Emma? Yes. You've got a lot. You're very chatty today. Yes, I'm very chatty today. I've got lots of things to say, so but, uh, buckle up. Yeah, of course. Yep. Of course. Yes. Uh, Emma, do you remember yesterday you made an inquiry uh, as to the, the items on the wall that, that were black and brown. Can you please get the, the pointer? Can I do the noise? Yes. <laughs> please point to them. These things? Yes, you made an inquiry yesterday as to, as to what they, they might be and you didn't know what they were and, and you, had, you asked a question about it, didn't you? Yes, I did ask a question about it, yes. Well, I've got the answer actually. Oh yeah, well, let's hear it. Of course, uh, the brown things either side of the TV unit are speakers, of course. I mean, even even somebody with who had like the IQ of a piece of grass would be able to have grasped this, like like a grass, grasp it, like a grass. Yeah, all right. That's speakers, yeah, all right, little sir. Yeah. They're, they're clearly TV speakers, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they're clearly speakers, yes. Okay. I'm going to make the noise now. <coughs> Thank you. Press the button. Thank you. What would we do without you? What would we do? Uh, Eric Oswald. Uh, interesting that they added studio lights to the build to make it the friend's set rather than the friend's apartments. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like that. I like that feature of it. Oh, hang on. What's happening here? Lord above. Oh, I see what's happening here. This this is happening here. It's the rather overly complicated upsy upsy downsy type scenario. Sorry, what's an upsy downsy type scenario? This doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Never mind. 
uh, Abba. Yes. Emma, I've got a question, and it's a, it's a delicate matter, so I might have to whisper it. Oh, all right. Yeah, go on. Emma, can, can you just whisper it into the microphone, please? Yeah. Okay. Go on then. Emma, I wonder if Dolly Neptune is related to Janice in some way because they certainly have a similar taste in clothing, don't they? Have you noticed that? Because I noticed it straight away and I thought, oh, hello. Is Dolly Neptune related to Janice? Because they've both got terrible taste in clothes. What? They've got... Well, you know what I mean anyway. I've, I've just whispered it. So no one else can hear except you and me. Press the button quick. Well, I, d I, d I don't know. I, d I don't know. I don't know if they're related. I don't know if they're related. And, and also, just, just, just there's, there's, look, there's, yes, I, I see, I, I see what you're saying here. Let, let's go in, shall we? Uh, yeah, leopard print, leopard print. Um, ooh. Mm, maybe there's something that Dolly Neptune needs to tell us. Uh, is, is there something you want to tell us, Dolly Neptune? <laughs> mm, mm. This is the secret. Might be a secret. Might be a secret. We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see what she says. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hold your, hold your horses, everyone. Uh, Professor, leg out. We're one vote away from learning the order of the top four favourite creator expert modular sets. Who will claim the top stop? Um, so here we go. Here we go. In fourth place with 9% of the square, 9% of the votes, Assembly Square. Who saw that coming in fourth place? Assembly Square in fourth place. Who could have seen that coming? In third place, in third place with 14% of the vote is Parisian Restaurant. In second place with 36% of the vote is Detective's Office. But in first place with 41% of the vote, it's Brick Bank. Wowie. Wowie. <laughs> Wowie. I mean, I'm not surprised. Brick, Brick Bank is an absolutely phenomenal set. Absolutely phenomenal set. It's extraordinary. It's amazing. Is that the final final or was that like like semi-final? I'm a bit lost now. I don't know if that was the final final or the semi-final. Not, not, not immediately, apparently clear to me. Um, Baby Smash and the Sensei, Angus Dobby, the Moaning Mini, the Matter, the Lego Whisperer. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, there was one complaint about the Flego Brick Bank, which was how creepy the minifigs were. Well, no, you can, you, you can just take that as read for, for all the, the minifigs uh, that come with the Flego. Uh, the, 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 mini, the, the minifigs are not right. They're not right. They're not right. Um, they were like aliens wearing human skins and just not quite being right. Uh, then Bevis says, the awful design and the stupid wonky angle of the foosball table is giving me physical pain. Well, tell me about it. Do we have to wait until after your wake before raiding the Lego shed or can we do that before the funeral? I think, I think as soon as my death has been announced, um... You can immediately contact Georgia Gibbon. She has been given names of people who are to be put in charge of the distribution of the Lego. <laughs> and then the bun fight can begin. I, I, think that, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I think that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, obviously, it goes without saying I would like Lego flowers uh, on, my, on my coffin. That goes without saying. Thank you. Uh, given how dreadful the design is, even with the table being at the wrong angle, I was rather hoping you wouldn't move it. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, there, there was like, there was requests to tell me I, it, it was wrong. Um, I'm still thoroughly met on this set, far too beige, far too empty, and the foosball table is a shocker. I mean, it's not awful, and it's perfectly functional as a representation of the TC set, but as a Lego build, it's not done a single thing. 
that's actually impressed me yet or hasn't been done better. In other sets, mm, this is harsh, but, but I think it might be fair. Um, but you know, we, we, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. It might, it might come up trumps. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Molly's absolutely fuming. Absolutely fuming. What's going on there? I think we're definitely doing another bag today, gang. I wonder what this is. Do you think it's the hallway? Might be the hallway. Um, scrub down, scrub down. Let's check it, Swan. Uh, she says, a, a collaboration with that there, the little mix, you say, I'm all over it. Do you want us to lobby Gigi? I mean, why? I mean, yes, please. I mean, I can't, I can't believe you're not lobbying already. For goodness sake. Get, get on with it, please. Please. Oh, hang on, that's going... Hmm, interesting. Oh, uh, oh, no. They're doing this again. Hang on. No, it's not there. It's there. They're doing this again. What? Why? No, it's not there. Oh, hang on. Wait. Oh, I've put this in the wrong place. It's annoying, isn't it? Yes, it's mildly annoying. You can't read. You, that you have uh, absolute no no ability to read. Now, what was the point of that? What's the point of that? Right, we've g that. Why didn't they just use two of those rather than using? Why has that got to be able to move? Is that a re is there a reason for that? Oh, that's all, that's on the cusp of being deducted. Another point that is. What's the point of that? If there is, a, is there, if there is a genuine reason for that, then I'm all ears as to as to how why the radiator has to move. I'm all ears, please. I'm all ears. Uh, let's hear from our, our our friends expert, Kerry West, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, James Hans. Oh, we love him. We love him. Uh, you will, of course, recall that he was on the cloud yesterday. Anyway, he says, hooray for me. Yes, hooray for you. Hooray for you. Hooray for you. Absolutely love the man. Um, Jackie Swan. Uh, Dame Dawn has a huge cavern. She said cavern. And she keeps a helicopter in it. Um, I mean, that might. Hashtag too much <laughs> information. <laughs> Tony now dressed to her. It says big chopper apparently. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't need to know about Dame Dawn's big chopper. Thank you. 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 Dame Dawn's big chopper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, Kerry West, new goose, and our resident friend expert, uh, says chicken is the other half of the chicken and the duck that live in Joey and Chando's apartment. The canoe is all the furniture they have left after the rest of it was stolen. Yes, thank you very much. <gasps> new Afawak, Mac McColgan. Hello, Mac McColgan. Hello, you're very, very welcome. Um, Mac McColgan, now, I, uh, I, I don't know if you're a, a gentleman or a lady. Uh, Mac could be anything. Hmm. I'm going to guess gentleman. If I'm wrong, tell me. Um, he says, you know the funny thing about that blooming table football slash football table? Is that it's always straight in the TV show. Never at an angle. Why I order? <laughs> Why I order Lego designer? What on earth? Uh, Tanya now dressed her, 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 her. Uh, says mine will be uh, put in straight right from the off and maybe the feet attached to the table first. Yes. Um, I mean, it's absolute nonsense the way that's gone on. Absolute nonsense. Uh, Kerry, it's actually infuriated me. 
I'm actually tempted to take another point off it. Yes, I am. I'm deducting another point. We're now down to six, six out of ten, just for the football table. I'm very harsh. I don't care. It's what it deserves, quite frankly. And it's infuriating. Absolutely, in oh, absolutely in oh, God, that'll annoy Bevis. There was a tiny hair trapped betwixt that crack. I said crack. Uh, Kerry West said the guys did think about getting a goose, uh, but decides they'd had enough poultry. That concludes the uh, the chick slash duck info. Uh, the chick and the duck, uh, Chandler named the chick Yasmin, after the Baywatch actress Yasmin Bleeth. But the chick grows into a rooster as it is actually male. Uh, they have many adventures, including getting stuck in the football table and swallowing Rachel's engagement ring. Uh, chick and duck info, I think this, this, this was a, a thread which has gone in reverse, so apologies for that. Joey bought the chick for Chandler in series three after seeing a news report about people who buy chicks and then can't look after them properly. Chandler went to return the chick, but found out it could be euthanized. He couldn't do it and uh, returned home with uh, the chick and the duck. Oh, I, I see. Oh, thank you very much. For that. It's interesting. It's interesting, isn't it? Aren't we lucky to have a, a resident uh, friends expert amongst us? What, how fortuitous. Most fortuitous. Thank you, Kerry West. We love an expert here. We love them real bad. Um, right, that's going in there, that's going in there, and, oh, here we go. For every set I long to build, no matter when or where or who, has one thing in common too, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hymn. It's a hinge Every set I ever build Every set I ever do Every set I've ever done Every set I'm going to It's a hinge It's a hinge <laughs> It's a hinge uh, Raven and driver Raven and driver Raven and driver uh, He says uh, to catch mice, it is used with cheese baited. It is a powerful spring it has. Oh, look. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. A catastrophic asteroid hit 65 million years ago. Earth suffered to the dominant dinosaur population. Do what would this? Ah. <laughs> ah. Um. Then he says, I, I talk about uh, my own death sometimes. My partner can't quite hide her smile because her busy mate could move in. <laughs> I have funeral fantasies like a magic show. My coffin sawn in half. <laughs> then disappears under a sheet. A Chewbacca whale from the mourners. Uh, Louis Prima, just a gigolo uh, playing. Oh, that's tremendous. Can you imagine if you went to a funeral and the magician sawed the coffin in half? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? And then the coffin disappeared. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, might have to steal that as an idea. Crumbs, so good. Um, Eric Oswald, aha, now I will have to play Louis Prima's Just a Gigolo during one of my upcoming radio shows probably when I do my annual Radio Italiano show on June the 13th. Oh, that, I mean, that sounds good. Um, Radio Italiano. Radio Italiano. That sounds super. Right, off to the Google Eyes. Google Eyes. Do, do, ba, do, ba, do. Google Eyes. Do, ba, do, ba, do. Google Eyes. Do, do, ba, do, ba, do. Google Eyes. TVZ, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Um, uh, she says the terribly excruciating ongoing saga of the crooked foosball table, episode uh, 1002, 
wherein Mother Goose gnashes her teeth, screams, tears her hair out and waves her fist skyward at the tricky Danish deities of Lego. Yeah, yeah it's the one where the foosball table lost the set. Uh, it, it's now up to four points. It's, it's lost it four points. Um, so think on Lego designer. Think on uh, you have lost four points just for it. Um, and f no, I'm afraid there can't be an appeal. No, um, no, no. Unless Mr. Graham Triggs adjudicates that there should be an appeal, in which case I will consider an appeal. But unless Mr. Graham Triggs says there is no, uh, there, there, there can be an appeal, there will be no appeal. No, sorry. Sorry. But that's, that's the way that cookie has crumbled, I'm afraid. That's wrong, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Thought it was weird. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fixed it. Thank you. Fixed it. Right, that's down there. What's going on there? Right, okay. Um, TVZ123. The robot B9 from Lost in Space would be bloody aces to build. Is with the Jupiter 2. Bloody aces. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving bloody aces. Bloody aces. That's super as an expression. Bloody aces. Mm, now, what are we making here? Oh, I wonder if this is the, the is, is this the cheesecake instant? We will bow to uh, uh, Carrie West here. Uh, she will tell us. Put that in. And then that's sort of going there and then we get a spoon here look a little sp a little spoon i do believe that's the end of bag seven yeah it is right okay we're going to do bag eight hang on please <sighs> right that should got to fix this on how 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 does it fix on it just hook on Oh, okay. Just sort of it does it's oh dearie me. It it doesn't Oh dearie me. No, it doesn't it does it doesn't actually solidly fit on. It just sort of slides. Oh, I I find that unacceptable. Sorry. Uh mm, oh we've got a hang on. We've got a minifig. It's uh it's Rachel of course. Now then, do we want her, oh yeah, I'm pleased with myself face, or, oh hello, let's have a pleased with yourself. And hair. And they've given her quite the norks there, haven't they? Quite the norks. Uh, and, a co and a coffee. Okay. Well, we now have Rachel. Super. Okay. Righty ho, ho, ho. Um, Noreen, 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 Noreen. Uh, she says, I'm not saying it's your fault about the football table, but you know what they say, the bad carpenter always blames his tools. <coughs> just saying, just, just saying. Uh, could I go? And get a wee coffee from Little Sue. Cheers, oh, I've missed her special coffee. And brownies, oh, I wonder what you'll get from Gigi for your birthday. I don't know. Don't know what I'm getting, but I'm getting it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Skipper Fingers. Where are you, Noreen? There you are. Ah, well, there we are. Look, she's back. She's back at Little Sue's cafe. You know, it's only a matter of time now before we find her face down. It's only a matter of time. Um, R -r -r Ray Van Driver says, I'd love to see some retro space themed sets done at minifigure scale. Uh, Lost in Space, Flash Gordon. Oh, God, Flash Gordon would be amazing. Uh, Star Trek even. I'm amazed Lego hasn't done any Wizard of Oz sets yet. I know, because they've done the minifigs. I know they did the minifigures, uh, but they could do Dorothy's House Lands on the Witch. The yellow brick road with Glenda and Munchkin's minifigures and three, a three-in-one where she meets the scarecrow, tin man and lion. 
the apple tree scene arrives at the Emerald City Gate and meets the wizard, uh, the witch's castle, and even a black and white, there's no place like home. So, I mean, all of these are just brilliant ideas. It seems crazy. I wonder why they haven't. Does anyone know? Does anyone have any intel? Anybody? I mean, seems a bit crazy, doesn't it? Um, they'd be snapped up, I think. Uh, Laura Cook, who is a new goose, welcome. Uh, welcome, uh, Laura. We've got another new goose, actually. He's called Sandy. He's marvellous. Um, anyway, your, both your... Uh, both your membership packs uh, will be winging their way to you with the appropriate uh, with the appropriate uh, badge uh, inside, uh, according to according to the level of goosery um, that you have uh, that you've gone for. Uh, top of the range, of course, is the extra goose. The extra goose. Uh, anyway, they're all winging their way to you. Um, so you should have those soon. That's, that's exciting, isn't it? Wear your badge with pride, please, remember. All Afawax must, uh, I think the law is that all Afawax, when they leave the house, must wear their badge. And both badges, uh, not just their goose badge, the, ba the badge of me as well. Uh, I think that's actually the law. Um, Graham Triggs will confirm. Um, anyway, Laura Cook, Cook, our new goose, uh, says this is a fabulous idea. About this is about Wiz Wizard of Oz. I'm also amazed there hasn't been any Wizard of Oz Lego sets yet. Imagine the wonderful tiling involved in a yellow brick road. Yes, I mean I'm totally with you on this. Eric Oswald says I too am all for Wizard of Oz sets. Imagine the witch's castle, complete with a very large, uh, large uh, crystal ball and the hourglass, plus the flying monkeys, and the winky guards. Uh, he said winky. <laughs> Uh, ye yo we yo yo oh uh ra ray van driver says with a clever moving part for when the witch is melting she flips over and on the other side some black smooth tiles that look like a cloak with her hat in the middle oh oh what a world oh oh on that uh, on that joyful thought uh, that does conclude the business of clab Right, now then, I might come in for this, I might come in for this, because I think we're just, we're just doing some, some, some close up work, uh, th th this is ridiculous, this, this, it, I mean, either connect it or don't connect it, I'm, I'm, f that's actually, it's actually made me feel cross, it's made me feel cross inside. Now I've got to get the, the lines right here. It's one of these again. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> da <laughs> da 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 Shush, shush, it's fine. Shush, it's fine. It's fine, it's all fine. It's all, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Sorry. Emma, did you, did you, sorry, Emma, did you, did you make a mistake? Shh. It's, it's fine, I fixed it. I fixed it. I noticed before it became a mistake, which, as you know, in uh, according to the rules, that means it wasn't a mistake. Well, it's a little bit slippery of you. It's a pain in the brush. It's not going to be a problem. It's just, just getting things right. Right, let's see. That's all that's, that's all that's going on here. Oh, now, look at this. Th this will be quite fancy, I think, when it's all done. I know that Bevis is not a fan of these, but I think this will look quite good.
Yep. There he is. Uh, now then, a decision has been made. Uh, it's bank holiday weekend. And so for the first time, the first time in over a year, uh, I'm going to take a Relax With Bricks uh, little break. There's a little one. I'll be back on Tuesday at the end of the, uh, the bank holiday. So uh, everybody, enjoy your bank holiday. Put your feet up. And uh, if you're a goose, don't forget there are loads of, of bonus builds over on, over on the Patreon if you're feeling like you need to watch something. Um, or you can catch up with builds that, that you haven't seen before. There's loads, absolutely heaps of things to watch. But I should be back. Back on Tuesday. Can you even believe it? It's, 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 like, it's like I feel like I'm going on holiday or something. Oh, look at that, it's nice. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, FYI, the Daily Bugle is very much on its way. Um, thrilled. Can't wait to do that one. Bevis isn't convinced by it. I think it's going to be really good. Well, I live in hope. What's going on there? Put it in an awkward way. There we are, like that. I'm making two of those. So do that again. That'll be why. No. Again, it has sort of moving part there for no apparent reason. Really. A bit loosey goosey. Um, let's go in there. Oh, that is right. I was worried about that these were different, but that is correct. Okay, all right, fine. Then... Oh no, wait, That's, that, that one doesn't go on yet, for reasons yet to be explained. I'm sure it will though.
it's not symmetrical. That's upsetting me. But that's how it is. That is that is the the bona fide design. But it's slightly upsetting me that, that, that that's different. Almost done. And last little bit. That's it. Okay. Okay. Well, there we have it. And it's rather satisfying, apart from the, this is different, which I'm presuming it'll it'll be all right because there will be things going over that, so we won't notice. Um. Anyway, there we are. That was bag eight. Right. That's it. So enjoy your bank holiday weekend, everybody. Um, come here, Dolly Neptune. Come on, come on, Dolly. <laughs> have you enjoyed your day on the cloud? Yeah, yeah, I have. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to Dame Dawn getting her chance on the cloud. Yes, me too, me too. Uh, anyway, uh, you are a much loved uh, member of the uh, of the Effort Gang. Uh, never let it be, never let that be forgotten. Ah, oh, thank, thank you, you muppet. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, crest forth, please. Crest forth. Uh, back to the, the top of Little Sears Cafe. Off you go. Off you go, Dolly Neptune. Goodbye. Yeah, off you go. It's not goodbye. It's not goodbye. It's just adieu. Off you go. Up there. Back to Little Sears Cafe. Uh, where you reside. Uh, who will be on the cloud on Tuesday? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Afterworks forever. Bye-bye.